So in the last video we looked at how to download and install Unreal Engine 5. Um, what we're going to look at this video is how to um, basically set up our first project using a third person template inside of Unreal Engine. Again if you find this helpful please do like and subscribe. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on launch. So we're going to find um, open our Epic Games launcher and we're going to find um, version 5 and launch. So what this is going to do, this is going to bring up um, a window that's going to basically um, have lots of different options in it from broadcast, television, etc. Um, that's going to allow us to basically um, choose what we want to uh, put in our project, whether we want a completely blank project. So when I'm, for instance, when I'm creating asset packs, I do a completely blank project. So I've got nothing in it apart from lighting. So what you're going to get is you're going to get something similar to this. Um, ignore the fact that you've got all this stuff here. These are projects that I've currently been working on and testing. And what we want to do is just, uh, we're just going to use games. But as you can see here, we've got stuff for film, um, architecture, automotive, all sorts here. But we're just going to stick to games because that's the one I just generally work in. Um, and then what we've got here is we've got the sort of project type in a way. So that's the one I was just talking about, the blank one that I generally use. We've got first person, so that's putting us in this perspective of, of the first person shooter type game. You've got things like puzzles here, all sorts. What we're, we're going to choose here is third person. And then over the uh, right here, we've got our sort of project defaults. So you've got things like Blueprint, or do you want it all to be in C++? We're going to stick to Blueprint. Target platform, we're going to stick to uh, desktop. I generally set the uh, quality preset to maximum. Um, you've got things like, um, do you want to include starter content, things like that. I don't put that in there um, uh, because this this sort of little mini course, I'll, I'll be providing the meshes for you. Um, ray tracing, that's the lighting type. But again, we, we won't, we'll stay away from all that. We don't want to overcomplicate it. Now, what we need to do is we need to basically um, decide where our project location is going to be and then give it a name. Now, it's important, uh, I think you're limited by so many characters in here, but it will notify you if your project's ridiculous. Let's just try that. Yeah, so you can see there can't be more than 20 characters long. And also, you can't have spaces in the name. So um, bear that in mind, you can't put like my uh, project. It has to all be one word. Good practices. Um, camel case, which you can see here is that you're capitalizing every word, uh, first letter of every word. So my M is capitalized and in project P is capitalized. That's just good practice within, um, I think within coding in general, what we'll do is we'll name this, um, uh, UE course, name it, whatever you want to name it. And then we'll create that. So this is just basically going to create our, uh, third person template and um, unfortunately the uh, load is loading on the other on my other screen here so um, I can't really show you the little loady icon there and then what happens is you'll be greeted with something like this and this is the sort of default um, uh, default view and we're going to take a look at uh, all of this um, when we uh, get going so what we'll do is we'll uh, stop this here and we'll move to the next video